Mr. Toast, welcome back. How you doing? Good to see you again. Thank you, guys. Gotta fix my chair really quick. That I was having with my chair. Now I don't feel so square. Yeah. Down just a little bit. There we go. Whew. Got all the chats back up. Time for some more Frank Brown. Surely it is good to be back. I'll tell you what. of the Barnards. What's up, Mob? I was very early to the stream this time, huh? Yeah, yeah we're, go we're just going live. Just started right now. Let's go in the bank and stir our money. Money. Two hundred thirty two two hundred two thousand three hundred and twenty eight dollars. Go check my telegrams. Kenneth, welcome in. How you doing, man? Welcome in everybody. Welcome in the sudden mouth. Bob Bobbington, Toast, welcome in everybody, how are you all doing? You guys are all doing well. Yeah, buddy. Hydrate, thank you for reminding me. Been kind of sick lately. my electrolytes back big time <laughs> swordsman how's it going brother it's going good it's going good moved into a new place got my new setup all set up and we got I did some practice last Saturday it was fun met some new people who are in the sport it's going good Gonna check my telegram. 
gonna check my telegram. Get a tick, gonna check, gonna check my telegram. Make me some money. Got 1.7 uh, 1.7k points. Some extra would be good. We're not gonna do that. Well, not in this new office. Not enough room for exercise. I'll have to change it then. Blue 20 crate chop wood. Food and supplies. Let's use them all on jumping jacks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll have to re redo the war reward system. I think I want to add like some t-shirts to it, like from the five logo and stuff at a high level. <sighs> Uh, I've kind of fallen off of that, uh, Kenneth. But the good thing is, uh, when I do rewatch it, there's like 20 new episodes. Why do I see many RP servers that have a central spot in Valentine? This is not the central spot. I just happen to be here. This map is very diverse and what's popular. I, I, I'd say St. Denis. St. Denis is pretty popular. Rhodes is very popular. Blackwater here is very popular. They're all popular for different reasons. <laughs> that looks so weird. The hell? What the world? Let me reach out here. I just got. Damn. <laughs> I gotta show you guys this. Okay. Uh, if I can. My uh, partner's two year old. My partner's two year old did this. He stuck a banana in the side of the shelving thing. And I was wondering what he was doing over there for so long. <laughs> Sorry, just catching up with some messages here and put my phone in He will probably be streaming on YouTube too. Uh, Skibbity? I don't know he streamed. 
I've been watching a ton of Wild RP content to prepare myself to join, and it's insane the massive scale of the server. You have characters who've never met and will never meet, and the character are characters all involved in crazy different things, and that's my favorite part of all. It feels like a real world, yeah. I might get off in a bit the hop on myself, so I'm not breaking any rules. Hell, I do get in the game, Sun Moth. Get in the game, man. Yeah, I, I'm here a lot because uh, I have friends in this area with this character. Howdy! Mister, what's the good stew around here? Uh, we got venison stew today. Um, or if you want something a bit different, we got potato soup. We also got uh, steak. What fills me up the most, you think? Potato soup or stew probably fill you up the best. I'll do uh, the stew. Coming right up. Uh, Baki, what was your name again? I, I met you the other day. Yeah, I'm Cade. You're, uh... Frank Brown. The fellow who said the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Welcome back. Now, Cade, I realize your stew wasn't an issue of my... My horrible constitution yesterday. It was a goddamn near good near the whale who decided he wanted to poison me with a cupcake. Oh, was it that old fella? Yeah, old crockety son of a bitch. That oh, was yeah, yeah, that's right. It's whatever you can spare, and if you can't spare nothing, it's on that. We just keep the junk in bed. Yeah, yeah, he was around today. Like, he was Thank you very much. I gotta tell you, that man is just unpleasant. Unpleasant to be around, I swear. How does he make a living in this town being so unpleasant? Well, we have potato soup instead. Rooting around. Want to stay away from the soup. I'm gonna make nice for the law. Nice, better. Sorry about that. Hold the ring in here. Sorry my ears there. What's that, ma'am? Ah, good. Yes, yes. Sir. Yeah, what I was saying is, I, I'm surprised how a man's is so unpleasant like that makes a living in this town. Um, yeah. I, I don't think he really makes much of a living in this town. I think he just. Yeah, he's hanging on for dear life, to be honest with you. Kind of he's probably reading your your food storage in his sleep. I bet. No, I doubt that. I keep it locked up um, in the wagon depot. Well, that's good. I ain't going to go hunting after killers. No pistol by my side, that's for sure. Sir, your, uh, your contact you gave me for work, is that, uh, is that uh, you know, uh, what kind of work do you think it will be? Oh, it could be all sorts of things. Um, she's pretty in touch with just about anything that's going on around the house. I actually saw her maybe 30 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I've been, uh, sure. did, does she do uh, security? Thespian work? by day, detective by night. Um, she, <laughs> if, she doesn't, but she probably knows people. Hey, I have a name yeah. for somebody who can do security for myself. I used to have a man, but uh, he moved on. What's that, sir? I have a need for security myself. You, you looking for hire? Oh well, yes sir, yes sir. I just, well, if you don't care if that, uh, if I, if you don't care that, uh, you know, I, I just got out of prison. You know. Well, as long as prison has reformed you into a better man, I'd say I have well, no issues right. then. That's right. Well, what do you do there, sir? Well, I run the moving pictures here at Saints Crossing. The moving pictures. You ever seen a moving picture before? I have not. Uh, yes, I well, I suggest you should, you should go and see one sometime. But change your perspective on well, just about everything, I say. These moving <laughs> pictures are very good. I said, yes, sir. Moving pictures. Keep an eye on this. 
Yes, Can you uh, ex- explain to me uh, what that is? Well, it would be easier just to show you instead. How's that sound? And we can talk business. Well, over cigars. Right. How's that sound? Oh, I don't got no cigars. Well, I, I, sure. I'll get you one. My honor. How about that sound, you know? Sure. What's your name, fella, by the way? Name's George Stone. Oh, George Stone, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower, Frank Brower Industries. Frank, I, good to meet you. I do have a need for a security team, considering that, well, the kind of work I get into well, makes me fat and rich. <laughs> and, yeah, sometimes <laughs> people out there, well, they want to see what kind of money I have in my pockets. But here's the thing. A smart man keeps most of his money in the bank. Away from there to where I was trying to go through your pockets. But then again, well, that's right. they might as well steal your jacket or your shoes or your fancy pocket watch instead since I dress so, well, nicely. Now, back well, here... Well, uh, good for you. Uh, I used to do security down in St. Denis. Well, that's good. That's what I'll be for the most time. I can't wait to get out of this hick backwater town. I tell you, I hate it here. Mud and smut <laughs> everywhere. Over here is one of my tents. Uh, one of the few in town. Hey, this is my this is my smallest okay. uh, establishment here for moving pictures. The bigger ones is the Imperial Theater in Blackwater, and then we have the uh, Lantern uh, Moving Lantern over in uh, St. Dennis. Understood. What is it? Okay, so it's some sort of a show. Mm-hmm. All right. And I I direct films myself as well. I make the moving pictures happen. Oh, you make them. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Go on, get some seat. I'm gonna get the machine ready so I can show you what I mean by the magic that I show to the folks out here in the crossing. All right, is it good business? Well, I tell you, I make about an average of $140 a night, if not more Jeez. than 200, uh, showing my films. Sure, uh, that's sure. here in Valentine, not in bigger cities. Bigger cities, more money, charge more oh, for the tickets, yeah. better venue. Go ahead and face the screen there. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you saviors and savages. That's a good one. The saviors of savages. Oh, thank you very much. Now I tell you, this business you get yourself into. It is, it is good money, and it's entertaining, and it's fun. All that, and not dangerous the least bit. Well, this is, I've never seen nothing like this. Like I said, you have to see it to believe it. Look at that. Well, that's right. Well, how, how new is this shit? Well, they started, uh, well, here in the Crossing, I'd say it probably started around 1888. Uh, first film was in 1885, I believe, by some French folks. Uh, that's where most of my equipment comes is from France. It's kind of hard to get across the seas here, but 1902 has been a year of change for moving pictures. I tell you, I, I've managed to be able to combine the, the, the screen right here with a moving picture of people combined to voice as well and music, well, yeah, all in black and white. Jesus. It is definitely, the world is a changing place, uh, well, George. Yeah. Never could imagine this shit. I can't believe that you can hear him. It's thanks to that Where's lovely device right there behind you. You got some, oh. I got a little record on there for trumpet, and it spins and it spits the noise right out to your ears. Damn. So what I need, uh, George Stone is, uh, so I have my, my partners out there right for business and that sort of thing to uh, uh, help me find business and jobs, but I need a man who can kill a man before a man tries to kill me or rob me. Well, that's right, sir. That's how I grew up. That's what I did. Now, I figured uh, from uh, the roughness of your voice and then knowing you just got out of prison that you might be a tough son of a bitch that I need to keep me safe. Uh, the job would entail... Uh, Keeping my person safe and protected from uh, Nander Wells out there. I bet you have a nose for them, I imagine, if you've been in prison. Oh, yeah. Who says when a man goes to prison, he falls under? I say a man who goes to prison learns some th- certain things that will 
will be of use to an everyday man and woman. Well, that's, I, I, I guess, yeah. I so, really looked at it like that, but yeah. And then I yeah, also they, needed to drive a carriage. Carriage, uh, carriage yes. Sure. Yes, sir. Like I said, I, I did work down the St. Tony. I did plenty of carriage driving now. So, I, I can do that for you. How does $200 a week, Sam, in advance, I'll pay you an extra 200 on top? That sounds perfect, sir. Very good, then. Now, you can only get paid for that week if I had you do business for me. So, if, if I've been by myself the entire week, you do not get paid for said week. You have to at least be there for uh, a job or two. Sure, sure. All right, then let me make a contract so, here. Uh, all right, so, so we have 200 a week if we're going around. And then I get another 200 for events. Exactly. So when I have you helping me out with an event, uh, you'll uh, get an extra $200 uh, per event. And the events get pretty big as well, I tell you. And then uh, down see. the road as we as I grow my business back again, I can start uh, hiring on more folks and you can become the captain of my God. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested. I've been looking for, for good work, so. Well, I'll hire you today, then, if you are so willing. Well, yeah. Is there any sort of uniform or something you want me to wear? I'd prefer you to dress nice is about nice. it. Sure. All right. I can do that. Let me write up a con contract out here real quick. Have you had much problem with uh, the ruffians? Well, they do show their faces here and there, but I try to make sure that, you know, I stay clear of uh, Mandewells. Sure. Yeah, some, uh, about five or six of them came into town not too long ago, robbed the damn bank. Not, not a single lawman showed up. It shows you how much they care. Well... They do care, but sometimes they just ain't around enough. I tell you, those lawmen, they do, they do work real hard for us, but I tell you, there's so much crime out there these days, George Stone, they are stressed in. That's that's the issue. That's the real issue right there, I believe. I guess, I guess so. I haven't, haven't really thought of it. Good deal, yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy to help you out. You need me to... Doing events, you need me to like uh, make sure they pay for you do tickets. I'm guessing I do sell tickets uh, here in this town. I'll sell tickets for fifteen dollars a piece uh, over in Blackwater, twenty dollars a piece because it's nice theater, and over in St. Denis for even better theater, twenty five dollars a piece per person. Ooh. There, hell yeah. Now, when I make a new film, my premiere events are between fifty and a hundred dollars, depending on how nice the event is and where it's located, and I, I charge uh, that poor person coming through to see my new film when it when it approaches. Sure. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to join you. Getting back into work. Sadly, uh, I'll have to buy new, new uh, firearms. I went to prison and they took my guns. I can't spell it right now. Attend. I can't spell attend. I can't remember how to spell attend. Oh, it's super simple. Okay, attend. Do you uh, do you have anything planned for today? Oh, I'll, I'll have the journey to uh, St. Dennis for some business. I'll need sure. you to uh, drive my carriage once I rent it. All right, no problem. I'll hand you the money to rent it, and then uh, uh, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll hand you today's pay for the week. Just get it out of the way.
All right, we'll go ahead and tap the page. There we go. And I'm going to need you to sign this as well. All right, Jim. You got a pen or a pencil? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, you can use the, uh, the wood stand right there for a hard surface if, if you need. All right. How does that contract thing get? It will secure you. Yeah. You think it's a fine contract, right? You agree to the terms of service and security uh, cover my high yes, payment? Yes, I do. All right. Then we get over and hand it back here and I'll keep it in my uh, document folder. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you very much. Oh! <laughs> Is that how you say hi in prison? With this right, brother. I don't like it. Been don't in do there again. for five months. All right, let me go get you your pay. Just don't hit me again, and you'll be fired. All right. Yep. Sorry. I'm just real excited, though. God damn my fights! You hit hard. You no, and that's a sign of your hard work right there. It shows that you yeah. you can handle someone. Good walling. That's right. You always got to be ready, you know. Yes, you're ready. All right, so my plan today is to head on down to St. Dance and uh, mingle with the folks around there and try to secure myself a, uh, what's it called, a uh, contract for uh, a uh, investment in my company of sorts and start looking for more actors and maybe if Sir Dickie Ride is around, we can uh, meet with him and talk about business as well. Sure. Well, I'll get, uh, I'll get changed. Sounds fine to anybody, mate. Where do you want to meet? You want to meet uh, in the bar or something? Um, I'll meet me in front of the bank here. In front of the bank. Sounds good. Power to Mac. Hello again. I hope so. Yeah, it's breathing fine. I've never seen a horse lay down like that. That just means they're really comfortable. That horse never lays down like that. Well, I have the money. Okay, we can get up in chat here. Phoenix, welcome back. Uh. It looks like you're about to get jumped by him. Oh, fellows, hey, what's up, monkey man? Uh, burped dog with the dog butter. Uh, an average of two pennies and two bullets of. Thanks for having me uh, get back into Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2, Cynics, you're welcome. Start, welcome back, how you doing? Uh, Batman, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, how you guys doing? Yes, Kenneth, I'm streaming on uh, Kick, YouTube, and Twitch. This some off. How you doing, man? <clears throat> Open this up right here. Train tragedy. This Saturday, birthday party adventure became a scene of brutal robbery. A party goes from Rose, where it is visited by the remnants of the Killer Gang, having cruised past an ominous scene of five dead law horses. The train was met with a hostile. Dangerous times we're living. I tell you, dangerous times right now. I swear. 
I need some cigars for the trip. Big booty for a second. <laughs> that was terrible. It scared the shit out of me. It's fucked up. Money for the man. Where did George Stone get off to you, shit? <laughs> What's up, Batman? Thank you for being a subscriber on the YouTube side of the, on the Twitch side of things, man. Turning to Twitch and Kick and YouTube all at the same time. Right now we're waiting for George Stone to return. So that I can get back to base dice. my travel outfit. But I'm a little tired today, a little brain dead. I keep forgetting things really fast. <coughs> How's the stream quality, guys? Is it looking good? Is it clear? I would use kick, but the sign-up is a bitch. I thought it would be the simplest sign-up. I think Twitch is the hardest one. And yet you walk through schmud. Well, unfortunately, schmud is... Impossible to avoid here yeah, in the crossing. Well, Bible time specifically. When we head to uh, St. Dennis, be a lot less schmud around. Shitty mud. Well, at least he's trying to get, get dressed nice and fast and look good and get the guns he needs. Looks like he's trying to impress me. After all, I'm a port man here in the crossing. What's so fucking funny? Nothing. Think I'm funny? Funny looking. Funny. <laughs> funny looking. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, tiny arms. <laughs> this, my, this, this ain't my horse. Is it not? That's not my horse. 90% shit, 10% mud. Exactly. It dirty. Dirty here. My right horse is mad at white. I think it's time I care to take a quick bath really quick. <coughs> Cleaned up for the ride and the journey.
Hell yeah. Ten minutes left. He's got to sit for like 15, 20. Now we're just waiting on Georgetown. I just got back from my house up the hill two hours ago. I was enjoying my time up there in peace and quiet. Hell yeah, Thomas. Good to have you back, man. Now, welcome to the stream where things might get a bit loud and crazy. And silly. Uh, like the stack on and on. There's, there's some sound studying. There's some sound studying, like stack on and... I don't know. I have to fix it. It might be my computer right next to me. Um, I have some issues. Every time I reset my computer, there's some like little tiny issues I gotta figure out and uh, catch. Just the way things are sometimes, unfortunately. Static. Oh, that static sound is um, my computer. And that's, that's just me. I have to move my computer underneath my desk to fix that issue. And then adjust my uh, my um, mic a bit. But right now, if I adjust it, it's not going to make a difference because it's on my desk. So that's the downside. How do you do? Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Nick. Yeah, you just let me know if it's too much now. I don't, you know. Well, it looks like he certainly did clean up the smud. At the same time, new clothing looks good. It is, uh, I think it makes you look certainly very intimidating and very, very tough. Now, that's exactly what I need for a security man. All right, I have your first week's pay, and I have the money for the carriage. I want you to bring me around a nice carriage, a comfortable carriage with a rooftop and doors. All right? Rooftop and doors will do. All right. Here you go. I could tell you were aiming to impress how fast you went around town trying to get things done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting right here. Sounds good. Hi. She okay? Yeah. Is she okay? Wait, left? Where? Up on the server for the first time in like five minutes. Hell yes, I'm off. Hopefully, we run into each other. Howdy, howdy. Wait, is Violet still here? Oh, 
I think Reddit's at like 60 bucks, unfortunately. Hopper fix. Yeah, Rockstar games don't generally go Whoa. down in price. Very good choice, Mr. Stone. Very good choice. I do approve. All right. Let's go nice and steady pace as well. I don't need to be jostled back here, you know? I like to make no sure problem, I get through without back problems. If, uh, if you don't mind, let me uh, let me go buy a, a weapon real quick. Don't worry. I'm nice and comfortable out of the cold. I think I'll be nice and happy the rest of my journey inside this here uh, wagon. Thanks for the information, Sun Moth, because I, I forgot about that. Well, guys, well, hopefully we get some intent things going on tonight. I hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. And thank you guys for coming in to watch. I appreciate it. If you join the stream, consider becoming a member for 99 cents on the YouTube side of things. Uh, if you have uh, Prime on Twitch, consider dropping a Prime here. And if you're on Kick, well, you're not watching because my chat's been empty for five days on Kick. <laughs> it hasn't been completely empty, but I've only had a few friends stopping on Kick. And the, uh, and RP on kick for Red Dead is really, 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 really small. Really, really small. If you don't mind, let me, uh, let me just go ahead and, uh, put some money away, huh? Oh, something's a good idea, just in case Ned Wells on the road. <laughs> That's right. I do enjoy a good cigar. Huh? How many spaces do you got in your pockets? Uh, a lot. I think I was thinking about stealing my wagon here. I gotta help you, sir. Sir? Hey. What can I do you for? So you stand inside of my uh, carriage here. Oh, I was wondering who you were. I thought you might have been the doctor for a minute. I'm looking for the doctor. No, I'm, I'm Frank Brown. Uh, no, no doctor here. Just a uh, moving picture business. Oh, I remember you used to go around doing the motion pictures. I remember that a long time ago. Last month. Oh, yeah. How's, how's business been? Well, it's been good since I've returned here to the cross. And in fact, folks are eager for, eager for my next film. And I look forward to producing one. Very nice. Yeah, I've been gone for a long time myself. I came back about six weeks ago. Well, welcome back. I'm looking to yeah. uh, get all three theaters here running on a regular basis. I'm going to try to hire uh, three ticket men. To keep selling oh, that'd be for money. really neat. That'd be really neat. Yes, it really would. What's your name, son? Uh, they call me Flash. Well, nice to meet you, Flash. I'm Frank Brown. Frank Brown. Frank Brown Industries. Hey, nice to meet you. I um, I'm new new manager of the Blue Pearl down in Saint Denis. Uh, Blue Pearl's that little small place, right? Uh, yeah, it used to be called Doyle's. I know that place. I've been there a few times. Not really my taste, but it's a it's not a bad establishment, I say. It's a good time, yeah. good city. Oh, yeah, I grew up right behind there, born and raised, so I'm really excited about it. I've always loved that place. Now, do you folks, uh, by any chance, sell uh, tobacco there for, for pops? Uh, we don't, but it's something that we should probably look into, you know. I, I, might, I might look into that. Well, that would be a, a mighty good idea, considering my tobacco pop. has been empty for a while now, ever since uh, what's called uh, Thai Parenthood left. Uh, a big void there in St. Denis. I haven't been able to get in myself uh, 
any kind of tobacco for my pipe there. Oh, you should see the greys up at the tobacco fields. The greys are running the tobacco fields up there. Well, that's good to hear then. I'll have to get acquainted. Yeah. Hey, Sorry if you ever need your wagon fix, I also do wagon fixes uh, down at the Blue Pearl. Well, I'll keep it in mind then, son. You take care now. Me and my friend right. here gotta get going. All right, good to see ya. Ta ta. All right, we're heading to St. Denis. St. Denis, but we'll stop through roads on the way there. Road. Gary Dingus, welcome back, man. There you go. Well, that was a lovely young man there. Real interested in the moving pictures and arts and things of that sort. Oh, yeah. So you don't mind me asking, Mr. Stone, what letter did you in prison for? Oh, just some stupid mistakes, that's all. Now, sometimes a man needs to make a stupid mistake to better oneself. That's, well, that's right. I learned a valuable lesson that day. But uh, what, what was it for, though? What kind of mistake was it? Well, it, it, it involved a bank. Oh, oh, all these stories out here do somehow involve a bank. When a man is stricken down low, those banks look like a buffet, I hear. Yeah, yeah. Real busy time in town tonight. You know, if I was going to stay here a bit longer, I would probably put another film on. But considering I've been here for like a couple of days now, I was going to be in St. Dennis yesterday, but there was a train robbery while I was aboard. And the worst is part is my right? constitution was weak because some, well, backwater, old man, mean as hell, rude as hell, poisoned me with a cupcake. We're out spitting out both hands. Yeah, I believe that. I believe I saw that fella. Who is uh, trying to pick a fight with me? He's a grumpy old kook. He's yeah. gonna stay any old young man next to him as his grandson or something. <laughs> I tell you right now, he gets his ass kicked more than anybody in that town. Most folks are hoping he dies soon. Kill on over. He, he was complaining that my films are too long. He might not make it through. And the city's the folks inside the uh, tent said it would be a blessing if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that man, he's got devils in him for sure. I wonder what made a man like that so goddamn crotchety and grumpy. What's the damn truth? Now, I'll make a short film with the fella. The mysteries of the old grouse kook of Valentine. Why is he that way? How'd he become that way? What was he before? Be investigative, peace or something. I bet she makes some money on that one. I would. <laughs> and I wouldn't share it down with the son of a bitch because he poisoned me. Ain't that be funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how long you been doing this? Oh, uh, hey, I've been doing this for a couple years now. I got four films of my own. Danny oh, Boy Love know. Story, uh, Devil's Whiskey, what else did I have? Oh, yeah, uh, Ricky's Bad Luck Day, and The Mysteries of Sean Mountain. Uh, then we got the catalog here from the crossing from various other directors uh, of the moving pictures variety, the ones with the uh, illustrated pieces of art on, on canvas. And this is why I asked for a covered carriage, because I tell you, the journey between uh, cities can be quite long, and I can see those clouds getting real heavy. That's right. I prefer to keep myself dry. And you brought the appropriate coat for uh, carriage driving. Is that made of leather? <laughs> That's right. Uh, there you go. Keep yourself nice and dry. As, as dry as you can get out there. Oh, I've had to stay in garden some pretty terrible weather. I'm used to it. Well, that's good to hear. It means you got a spine and a backbone. Well, you will, you will find yourself, I think, in a very, very promising situation there, Mr. Just Mr. Stone, if I say so myself. Well, Not right. everyone can say they work for uh, uh, Frank Brower or Frank Brower Industries directly. You're going to be my uh, right-hand security man. Now, I have been accosted and robbed a few times here out on the crossing, unfortunately. So, uh, it's always nice to have a uh, good return. I used to have a man by my side named Ledoux, or Lafay, I forget. But he was a good company as well. 
and uh, he did a real good job. Unfortunately, he moved back to France. Oh, well, I'm sure we're gonna, we're gonna put, a, put together a good old team for you now. I know the security type, so. Well, that's good, I think two, three men all together should be good for security. They'd be uh, real nice. And then for bigger adventures with high outside, apart from the Moretti's or something. And then yeah. I gotta hire some ticket boys to make me money. Sell my tickets at my, at my, uh, uh, what's it called, um, tents and things of sorts. We need one who lives in Valentine, we need one who lives in Blackwater, and one who lives in St. Dennis. Well, St. Dennis is where I'll be most of the time, so sometimes I'll be running the, the theater myself, but his main job will be to go out there and advertise tickets for me. Hell, I might even have you do that a few times here as, as well. Sure. Why well, ain't too good of a salesman, though? You've been warned. You just you just go through town. You say, "Hey, well, my bitch is down here in five minutes." That's, That's all you right. gotta say. And then meet me at the front of the tent. I take their money, and then they go and see a film. And then you just sit outside the tent by the front. I see uh, Phoenix. I am hungry. She says she's gonna take it out for me. Let's stop by Rhodes. I'll need there to take a, a short restroom break, and uh, we'll meet in the, in the parlor. I'll be around the parlor for the most part. Yeah, and, uh, sounds good. And then uh, if you wait for me, I'll be back here. I'll be uh, done with the bathroom and clean up. We'll probably have a meal, share some drinks, and then make the short journey to St. Dennis. Perfect. Hey, sure hell relieved to be out of that small backwater town. I, if you're from Valentine, no harm meant, but I hate that place. The smud up to oh, your knees, we're in fine clothes. Horrible I town. I agree. I do agree. Where do you live here in the crossing? You don't mind me asking. Well, I just got out of prison. I uh, kind of live out of, uh, of the hotel, to be honest with you. Oh, I see. Well, you ought to find a place there in St. Dennis. Even if it ain't the best, it's still a nicer place than uh, that little goddamn... Devil town. Well, that's right. Valentine, yeah. Like I said, you know, five people came into town and robbed that bank in the short time that I was there. So. Uncivilized. Mm hmm. They need the arts in their lives to make them more um, calm and demeanor. Exactly. I tell you, when one suffers a hard life for too long, sometimes it doesn't better a man. Sometimes it turns a man into a devil. Deal. Yeah. Just a shame. But uh, the cross has got its own problems. You know, the Arts Guild aims to civilize the land, to calm those tempers, the hysteria out there, with entertainment. Entertainment that calms the soul and widens the mind. Be it could work. Oh, you're one Rhodes. To go to the, uh, you're to go to the uh, bar? Yeah, the parlor house. See, I love mm -hmm. Rhodes. The thing about Rhodes, you trade a worn down housing for a more of a common piece here, but you do trade smud for red dirt, unfortunately. <laughs> but I'd have red dirt over smud any day, I tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lovely little town. Usually pretty peaceful as well, if I remember. I've never had too much problems here. Looks like there's some people in, in the parlor house. Well, that's good. I would like you to wait inside the parlor house for me. I'll be uh, doing my business in our house. And so, uh, yeah, no problem. I'll uh, drop you off here and go park the wagon. Yeah, goodbye, man. I drink. I'm gonna get food in a second. Be right back. Be right back, guys.
guys. Chicken on a lasagna. Ooh. Just chicken on a lasagna. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. All righty. Excuse me, sir. Something, something's going on here. Ooh, maybe, maybe, I'm fucking coming. Maybe, maybe we just go somewhere else for a bit. <laughs> maybe we just go on straight down to uh, St. Dennis if there's a uh, kidnapping and sure thuggery going on here. And uh, Jesus, Ooh. oh my God, Lord! Just get, uh, get behind the wagon. Get me out of here! Yeah, there's shots going there's on. There's ne'er-do-wheels inside. Over there. Inside? Ne'er-do-wheels. inside. There's, there's a man it. digging holster. He's tied up inside. Oh, shit. I'm getting out before they decide to take the carriage. Back here, sir. <laughs> Just get us to safety. I do not like becoming a, a target for nether whales. No good doers. Man on the wagon. What way? Yeah. There's a small car that's leaving town by the bank. I wonder if that was Jesus. I wonder if they're talking about us. The good thing is, we are law-abiding citizens. You fresh out of prison, and me, well, I've never gone to prison myself. So, uh, if they do have to ask me questions later, they'll say, we are just bystanders. Unfortunately, and right. during an event where ne'er the wheels have made themselves seen. So that's the graves right there, is that it? Tobacco fields? That's right. Well, I'll have to visit the grave sometimes. Get make sure my tackle, uh, what's it called, uh, tobacco storage is nice and uh, filled up. I mean, my favorite is opium tobacco. I tell you, that 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 is oh, how yeah. you have a good long week right there. A good week of feeling good every day, every single day. Back feels perfect on uh, opium tobacco. I'm guessing you sell that stuff here in your little shows. No, all I sell in my shows is beer and uh, candies. Okay. Well, unfortunately, sometimes I guess when I speak about how nice the place is, maybe ne'er do wells can hear it and they just show up yeah, immediately. Right. <laughs> we, we, we jinxed it. Golly. What the hell? In the broad daylight with sheriffs in town, they're doing all that. Jeez. They must be either real good at what they do or they're real dumb at what they do. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing there. That place has been abandoned for well, five ages. That's real weird. Yeah, here we are, sir. Saint home sweet home. I am glad to be back in civilization where men belong. Forward thinking man specifically. <laughs> where are we heading? We going to the uh, saloon? Let's stop by uh, the Murdered's household. Uh, it is where the Shenzos used to live. You, you know that place? Is it up in one of them mansions? Yeah, it's the mansion next to the uh, the, the park with the uh, fountain. I believe I know. You might have to direct me. Well, you're it's on, a while you, since I've been here. You're on the right track. Yeah, I think once you get up through this uh, pathway, you'll be on the uh, up and up to the left. Yeah, that's right. And then you take a ride. No, 
I'll just go through. I think left up here. Mm -hmm. And then all the way down at the end of this road, he took a ride. You and I are always going to be witnesses to just how dangerous this uh, crossing can be for everyday folk. <laughs> right here is perfect. I don't think anyone will be home, but I figured I'd come by and say hi just in case. Sure. Oh, by the way, I, I will be staying at that mansion there. It's where I have a room. Which one? The one down there. So, uh, you're welcome to sleep there as well as my main security man. So, if you want to move to St. Denis and bring your belongings here, looks like you've just upgraded your life. <laughs> <laughs> Room and board on the dime of your boss. This has been a lovely home here, too. I've only been inside, I think, once before. I don't remember very well. Well, I've never been up here. Not sure if anyone's home, but I knock. Hello? Hello? Are the Moretti's home? My name is Frank Brower of Frank Brower Industries. I was wondering if the Moretti's are home. Well, it seems they are probably out doing business right now. That's fine by me. Then I say we head by the Bastille. Bastille, next best place to go. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, let's head by the uh, post, uh, the train station. I need All to buy right. a new suitcase. Does this, uh, does this back have any storage in the back of it? If it doesn't, then never mind. Mm. I do not believe it does. Oh. No, yep. It doesn't have any. Well, that's just fine. Fine by me. Where to then? Still a train station or? Uh, no, let's head to the Bastille. Bastille. <laughs> ah, I'm hungry. I almost forgot. You'll have to get to those town uh, in the back of your hand. Bastille is the saloon, correct? It is, the big one. The nice fancy one. Fancy one. There we go. Get out the damn lady. Don't be nice now. That is a lovely woman. She have patience for her. Come on now, be a gentleman. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I gotta get back on the groove of things. I've been out in the, in the damn woods so damn long. I think we'll need to get you through then in the next couple of weeks as a gentleman's class. Or we spend enough time around me, it'll rub off on you, I bet. <laughs> well, the way I see it, sir, if you want to make it out on these roads, you gotta. You can't be a gentleman. Well, out on these roads here in St. Dennis, you gotta be one. Well, when, you out, right. when you're out on the uh, on the prairie, though, I understand a bit of roughness and toughness there in the uh, uh, potential there to wells. But that lady there, that was a duchess, I bet. I understand you completely. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page then. Mr. Stone. Oh, 
I'll take a look at uh, fancier wagons and see uh, what fancy wagon has storage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I always need, I always need a spot for my uh, briefcase when I have one. I didn't see too many, uh, too many wagons with uh, roofs and doors. To be honest, any rentals at least. Well, the open roof coach uh, rentals here in uh, St. Dennis are just fine when we're just around town, and uh, I'm fine by those. But uh, on a long sure. distance, gotta have a rooftop on that thing. Let's well, right. I'm gonna go upstairs here so I get to see how much they cost rooms here, room board. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna look after the wagons. Hey, what's up, uh, what's up, Tanner? Welcome back in, man. Welcome in, everybody. <clears throat> Where are the rooms to rent? They don't have hotel here. Hotels are oh, hotels across the across the street. Okay. I do that, sir. Some to eat, something to drink. Oh, I get myself a beer. That sounds mighty fun after a long trip here to St. Dennis. Hey, no problem, pal. You want that uh, week or you want it normal? Let's go for a week one. I keep my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? Constitution good. <laughs> yeah, no problem. What's your name, fella? My name's Giuseppe. Giuseppe, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brown, Frank Brown Industries. Uh, one more time. My name is Frank Brown of Frank Brown Industries. Frank. Oh. How, much is, how much is it going to cost me, Giuseppe? Yeah, it's only going to cost you a cent. One cent? All years. <laughs> That's right, one cent. Well, I appreciate it. Well, you have more of my business for sure. But I tell you, next time I'll make sure I tip big. Unfortunately, I uh, got to go on by the bank later, but... uh. No, 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 it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Well, I'd like to make sure that I give the living man every day, you know, a nice tip here and there of my fortune. I just moved back here to uh, St. Dennis. Went on a long journey for five months or so across the world. Five months, you say? Yes, sir, Mr. Giuseppe. And it is good to be mm. back, I tell you. Very good to be back. I'm glad. I'm happy. The, the arts sorely missed my presence. I tell you, the moving picture business went downhill without me here to maintain it. Uh, you know, Mr. Brad, I, I must say, <laughs> you're a fast talker. You know what I mean? It's so hard to sometimes understand. Uh, you said the movie, the, the the film industry? Yes, the film industry here in the St. Crossing. I run the moving pictures. See, when I'm excited, I talk fast. When I do business, I talk fast as well. Just the way it is, where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what can you say? You're a fast talker. You, you know, like you said, a Get excited how you do business. Look, I'm Italian, you know. Back in the mother land, everybody talks fast. You know, what can you do? Well, hopefully, uh, I'll bring back an arrow fast talking again to this town. He's <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, you have a marvelous wagon outside, by the way, sir. Well, thank you very much. I rented it this evening, uh, back in Valentine's. Surprised I had one there. Got stuck there for a couple days, actually, believe it or not. Uh, down in Valentine's, I was aging for it. Yeah, I was uh, taking a train back to St. Denis. Next thing you know, Ned the West, board the train, take everyone hostage. The worst part was I had just been poisoned by some Ned the Well in town who gave me a cupcake, made me leak out both ends. It was, it was horrible. Oh, okay. yeah, it's terrible. Let me tell you, pal, you can't trust a soul in Valentine. Now, that's how I feel sometimes, but I make sure I try to keep a better judge of character. See, I gave, I gave that old timer a second chance. I thought he was offering me an olive branch. Well, now I got this man right here to sort out well, individuals like that. Holy shit. Well, look at this guy. Take a look at this guy right here. Oh, put my hands up. Jesus Christ. Look at this guy. You got, you got to hire them tough and big for uh, security, especially a man like me. 
<laughs> how you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing, pal? Well, what can I get you? Yeah, something to drink. Oh, I don't drink when I'm doing some yeah, drugs don't like this. Of... Well, huh, that's a good man. I didn't even tell him that. Look at that. He has impressed me all day long running fast trying to get things done for me. I tell you, my money's been spent good for this kind of man to secure my security. <laughs> well, good deal. Hey, Jesus Christ, look at this guy. This guy's uh, you built like a brick wall. Well, you know, last name is Stone. Oh, would you look at that, Stone? You know, let me tell you, you know, there's a bunch of guys around here, Stone, I'll tell you that. And guys look like you, you know, I, I, I bet you show up. These tough guys, you know, they'll fall to the knees. Guaranteed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing him some slam some heads around. Now, I hope he doesn't have to in my presence or something like that, but when one of those uh, cheeky son bitches show up, I hope he does me justice for my money's worth. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> well, what can he do? You know, that, that, my opinion, that, you know, that, that's your job. By the way, I, I know they're getting the, uh, the fight club started back up here in San Denis, Stone. I think you might be interested. Is that right? Well, I might have to, might have to take a gander. That's right. That's right. Right across from the San Denis. Yeah, yeah. uh, where the club's at. Uh, I've been there once right myself before, Mr. Stone. Right, right across from the what, sorry? Uh, from the San Denis Marketplace. San Denis Marketplace. Okay. I, th I believe I know uh, where you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you can't. See, it's near the other bar, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. They even have a bar down there. You know, for a tight quarters little place, once you get down, that's quite open. And, well, it's pretty lovely for its, uh, well, I'd say it's, mm, it is dirty, but pristine. It's it's hard to explain. It's a unique place. <laughs> it's, it's a cozy place. Yeah, I've been there before, yeah. yeah. Nice place, cozy place. Good people. Yeah, it's real tucked in there. Now, um, who owns the bar these days, by the way, Giuseppe? Uh, which bar? The one right here, the, the Bastille. Uh, that'd be me. I bet you, you own it then. Okay, that's good to hear. Do you work with the Moretti's, or are you, uh, you solo man? Uh, well, they sort of haven't been around, to be honest. I would say, uh, solo practitioner. Oh, that's good to hear. See, I met, I've met the, uh, the Moretti's were very busy the last couple of days, but, uh, see... I know one thing about St. Dennis. Since I've returned, one thing that's always been true and true through and through is that everyone here in St. Dennis, all the businesses, they try to treat each other like family the best they can because we want less quarrels, not more quarrels. So I like to make sure I get to know everyone here again because, well, my business will be here as well. I, in fact, I'm living at the mansion, the nice one on the, on the corner there next to the bridge. On the corner. Right, right, right. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I once knew the guy that... Lived out of that place, but uh, apparently he's, uh, he's long gone. But that's good that somebody, you know, now, now you're occupying the place, living at the place. But it's real exciting. Well, the world's changed a lot in the last five months, as I say. My uh, friend yeah, yeah, Thatcher, yeah. the sea captain, he moved on as well, I think. I've seen him around since I've returned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you remember uh, Tiny Tony in Autumn? Yeah, I remember Tiny Tony. He was, uh, he was a good guy. I appreciate his business. He was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny Tony was a great guy. You know, it's sad that, uh, Fortunately, you had to take business elsewhere, but, you know, I I had to keep the Mama Mia's name alive. You know what I mean? Is I, I couldn't let this place become anything else. Well, I'm glad it's still around there. You will have my patronage very often here, especially after large events. Hell, I might even have to hire you to uh, sell some drinks for big uh, showings. See, uh, oh, yeah, please, no. I'm getting back into the moving uh, picture business again, and I direct my own films. I have four so far. I'm working on a new one here shortly. And I have to do a big premiere event when it's finished. So I need liquor, alcohol, fireworks, you name it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. Well, that's good. We'll figure out a contract later when the time comes for a that's big right. uh, premiere. But uh, that's good money in everyone's pocket here. It's, it's part of the economy of St. Dennis to do that kind of thing, I'd say. <laughs> Damn right. You know, uh, it is. It's just part of the economy here. And let me tell you, you know, you're in the, the, the film business. You know, uh, you like, uh, uh, you know, you run your business out of any of the theaters here? Well, it would be the, it would be the Lantern. The moving gotcha. Lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Very nice, very nice. Good deal. Now, if your business is looking to also invest in one of my films, you can get yourself a, an ad read. 
at the beginning or end of the film, depending on what you're paying with the uh, investment involved. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Carl, how you doing, pal? Where the hell you been? Yeah, well, shit. I've uh, been locked up in the apartment. That's where I've been. Ah, all right, fair enough. Was the missus sick or something? Had to rub her feet? One more time. I said, was the missus sick or something? You had to rub her feet? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I try to stay single myself. Don't get tired of, you know, dealing with that kind of thing when you're a busy man. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the married life, it ain't for me. It just is. It's all about me. finding a lovely lady of the night, on occasion, at one of them nice cocktail parties. That's what. I, that's, that's why I look for love when I need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, you know, you would have came to this ball like a month ago, two months ago, or something like that. I guarantee you, you would have had all, you know, all the uh, the ladies of the night, you know what I mean? They, they, they used to hang around. <laughs> well, I know I attracted oh, yeah. myself. I am a looker for sure. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let me tell you guys a quick story. About two months ago, it was kind of late at night. It was pretty late at night. There was about four or five people in the bash still. You know, everybody was going to sleep. There was a couple, apparently. The husband had just returned. Like, he just got back to the crossing. Right here in the middle of the floor. Oh, no. You know, they start making out. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what do I do? I get a couple wine bottles, a couple glasses. Go put them upstairs in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah, dim the light. And, uh, you know, I offer them the special. Next thing, you know, let me tell you. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll take the room upstairs. They take the Jesus Christ, we walk in the next day. You guys won't believe it. I go up to the room, because, you know, I usually clean the place before we actually open. So I go up to the room to clean it. The damn paintings were upside down. The the, the, the sheets were all, were all over the place. The the glasses were broken. I thought to myself, Jesus aye, Christ. Aye, aye. Yeah, did a crocodile come in here? Something from, <laughs> from the bayou or something like that? I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. It was, uh, it was, it was a hell of a thing to clean up. I'm so glad that is not the business I find myself in when it comes to cleaning. Well, shit. Now, I have a man who cleans my theaters up, and I tell you, some of the things you find on the theater ground would uh, shock and awe you at the same time. Uh, you serious? And so, some films I, get, I got are a little, uh, you know, devious. They show a little bit of skin sometimes, like uh, Sketching for a Sweetheart. In fact, uh, I'm gonna have a special night at some of my theaters on Sundays. I'm directing a new pornographic film, which is gonna show some ankles. Oh, oh that day, boy, Ooh, it's gonna be real good. Real shit. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a gentleman's <laughs> night. <laughs> when, uh, when is your taking place? It's gonna be taking place. I think we're gonna be filming at the bathhouse for this. Miss Lovely Mama <laughs> Christine will be uh, uh, the first actress on the big screen showing off her lady bits. Uh, Elbows, right. ankles, uh, shoulders, I tell you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might uh, be some wrist. <laughs> you said Mama Christine is gonna be the one doing that? Oh, yes. I know a lot of men out there have their sights on that lady I, from what I've seen. And I, I know she will be a popular uh, uh, lady on the big screen. Uh, out of all people, you guys picked Mama Christine. Well, she's the most willing, the easiest one to make a film with, I tell you. But trust me, once other ladies see her on the big screen, they will become jealous of her, and they would want to make their own films through my, or through my business practice. <laughs> Man of business. Hey, sounds like he's got a plan. I he, he got a plan. And it, 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 as long as it brings in the money. Oh, sure it does. Sense. I mean, there's so much money in this business, you would be surprised. And the fact that there's a lack of competition because there's a lack of know-how. And that secret stays in my head. <laughs> Just the way to know it. I mean, even if I did have competition, at this point, I've become renowned in the crossing of my four films. In my business and everything I've done so far, they would have to climb a long ladder to reach me. <laughs> What's your name, pal? My name's Frank Brown. Frank Brown Industries. I run the moving pictures here in the crossing. Hey, Frank Brown, nice to meet you. Name's Carlo. Carlo, nice to meet you as well. I'm uh, getting myself situated again. See, I was gone for a long hiatus. 
and it's good to be back, and it's good to dive straight into it. You know, uh, Sir Dicky White? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I know. Now, Sir Dicky White does uh, plays and uh, other things like that, so he doesn't do the moving pictures like I do. But him and I are going to partner by and by to get some moving pictures made. With his actors and my equipment, we will decorate the big screen. Working on a few films together. Oh, yeah. interesting. Dicky White is a real good guy. Good buddy of mine. I, I just approached his uh, his drama night a couple nights ago. It was a lot of fun to be there. And hell, I gave everyone a run for their money on some of those games he was playing. <laughs> oh, he's the spaghetti? one running the We did play spaghetti. Way. We yeah. also did uh, the ABC one and uh, some other yeah. improv games. Yeah, I used to always promise Sir Dicky White that I would be uh, at the drama club on Sundays back in the days. But I was always too busy here. Boy, you're too, you know, always too many people here. Well... With the crowd he brings in, I'd say you ought to go to it. So afterwards, you'd be like, well, folks, I bet you're thirsty to drink. Oh, yeah. Come on back yeah. here to Mama Mia's and get yourself fed. <laughs> That's how you make money right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, it's the way to know it. Yeah, good old days. Yeah. Now, my question for you is, would Mama Mia's be interested in investing in Frank Brown Industries to have themselves an ad read in the beginning of one of my films? I'd say $500 would be good. If you would like yeah. to uh, make a contract with me, and maybe when I get my next film moved, made here, and at my first showing, at my grand reveal, you folks can have yourselves a spot on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Frank. Why don't I take down your telegram? We could discuss this at a uh, at a later time. That sounds good to me. Let me know when you're ready right now. Yeah, yeah give me a second. All right, go right ahead, Frank. It is FK as in Frank, 769. Let me check on the wagon. All right, Frank. Sounds good. Look, I'm going to be, you going to be around tomorrow? Uh, I might be. I'm not 100% sure what I'll be up to tomorrow, but at some point I might be here and there, but it's always going to send me a telegram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, I'll send you a telegram. I should be around for, for a while tomorrow. Well, that's good. I'm looking, uh, the first few days before I get started on film is I gotta find investors. Uh, I tell you right now, it, paying for, uh, actors, food and service, transportation, costume, it adds up real it's fast. Yeah. Most films I spend about five grand on. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cheapest oh, yeah, film I ever it. made was, uh, 1500. It was such a comedy. It was a little easy to make. And, uh, well, Ricky, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky doesn't know much about, uh, money, so he doesn't care for it. He said, he, to my face, I said, fair enough. Charge you $20 a day. <laughs> I'll give you twenty dollars a day to work for me, and he said yes. <laughs> Made my film real cheap on my end, but uh, he's a good fella. Good fella, in fact. Beautiful. Well, like I said, tomorrow I'll wake up, go grab myself a coffee, newspaper, walk down to the telegram station, and telegram. Well, that was good. Well, we best be getting out here now. I gotta look around for some of my friends and uh, check with them. Uh, Mr. Stone, is the, uh, is the carriage ready? It is, sir. Well, gentlemen, have a lovely evening. Thank you very hey. much for your uh, service pleasure. here. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, hey, you still nice meeting you. Stone, Good don't go you. around scaring everybody, all right? <laughs> I'll try not to, you know. That train was going around as well. well I might want to catch that train later if I, if I have the need to go anywhere. It's already left by now, I bet. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the tram. The tram? Yep. Think of the tram working here in town now. That's right. I just saw it pass. I came out here. Oh, oh my bad. Oh. <laughs> that's for punching me in the face. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got your revenge. You did. I like, you know, I, I like to play little games like that sometimes. Sorry about that, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Here, let me... There you go. Here we go. Where to, sir? Uh, let's go catch up to that tram there. I want to see it running. Sure. Now, is it operated by the train company as well these it days? It is. Oh, or I, I don't know. But I, uh, I saw it go around. Not sure which way it went, but we'll go this way. Well, I would like to give it a ride, then. Well, that's right. And, uh, I saw someone get off it when uh, you were up there looking at hotels. A scant regard. By the way, I love your old man. I love your old man a lot. He's a good character. Maybe you can get a time to give you the old guy to get your own back. 
You should speak to Barry Beaver. He's a food critic in the crossing. He can probably advise which cupcakes to eat and won't. Thank you, Ill. <laughs> uh, scant regard. That was a good character. I like your character a lot. Zero Gravity, this is not uh, Fate the Plane. This is a different person named Drake. I don't think he streams. Oh, is Roscoe not you? Oh, oh, okay, I thought you were him. The park right here. <laughs> Very good indeed, Doc. It's all a good thing. Oh, did we just miss it? I think we gotta keep over it. Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you just hop on. Is everything okay? Oh, sir, sir, I thought it was one of the moving trailers. You seem like a New Yorker. You just kind of hop on as it goes. I, uh, no, it did it, 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 it stop, so. Oh, how much for uh, a trolley ride? Uh, it, it is uh, five, $5 for a ticket while I remain on shift, and you can hop on and off it as you please. Well, oh, very good. I'll pay here for me, or just for me. My, my friend has to pay for himself. <laughs> I gotta hit the bank again. Uh, so, uh, understood. So I didn't mean to surprise you. That I just didn't want to miss out on a, an opportunity. Uh, all right. With, uh, oh, you um, just try to okay. get a seat. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the seats are a bit uh, uh, wobbly. I would not recommend sitting on them. What you found? Now, I don't see I don't see the trolley running here in a real long time. It's good to see it going now. Yeah, we uh, we had some problems with the line, and we have recently uh, corrected them. What's your name, fella? Uh, Virgil, Virgil Clemens. Virgil Clemens, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower, Frank Brower Industries. My pleasure, sir. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah. I think some days we'll go buy carriage around business and stuff, and some days we'll go buy trolley just for the hell of it. <laughs> hey, Virgil, does this uh, trolley operate through the train company as well? It does, yes. I, I'm a conductor of the SCTA. Well, through here. Now, I, I hope that the uh, the trains get safer soon. Because I'll tell you, that the amount of Nanderwebs lately is shocking. I rode the train yesterday, and they left me, not the train company themselves, the Nanderwebs left me out on the side of the tracks as they stole a train. Uh, I, I, that was my, my training train, actually. Uh, so, uh, you had the uh, incident aboard? The other day? Uh, yes. Oh, unfortunately, I had... I had the worst constitutions ever. I was poisoned by a ne'er-do-well. And uh, then I went to ride and get back to St. Danis to find my doctor. And next thing I know, I'm well, going out both ends, unfortunately. Ruined my good suit. It, 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 it's good to see that you're uh, doing all right there, so. Much better. I, 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 unfortunately, the memory of that uh, shameful day will, will ring with me for life. But it is... Uh, Something that might maybe inspire me for my next film or something, hopefully. This sure is nice. Uh, it's a modern, modern lady trend. The, uh, I, I, I have not said, you know, how these trolleys work. You know, this is why no, I love no, St. Dennis. No, it is civilized. Uh, we, well, uh, it, it carries an electrical current from, from the cables above us into two small motors that are uh, on the bottom <laughs> of the engine, uh, which turn the wheels and make us move forward, and we, we ride in the track. Jesus. Nope, no coal burn whatsoever. Moving pictures? No. Now, Sarah Dickey White was saying, this is a time to return to the crossing, and he sure as hell was right. That's right. I might have to make a movie picture about involving one of these trolleys. Or like, uh, folks climb up of it, climb up of it real quick and on it. It'll be a slapstick comedy where they keep trying to catch it and then they miss it by accident and they fall over. They get on it and they run out the back by accident or something. <laughs> uh, it could be starring Ricky, Ricky again. That'll be good. Another Ricky's Bad Luck Day. It'll be called Bad Luck in the Big City. Yeah, it certainly sounds like, uh, like an interesting picture. So if you do need assistance with that and filming... Uh, the uh, Transit Authority does uh, do, do rentals as well. Now, how much will a rental cost? Uh, starting at 150 uh, depending on the uh, 
uh, any other tasks you need doing. Well, that's good to know. So I, I find myself plenty of investors to help me out with uh, my filmmaking. Uh, film is expensive again because you gotta pay for props, you gotta pay for actors, costume changes, food and drink, transportation, security. I tell you, most films I spend about five grand upon. Let's get it done. Some people still still haven't understood the principles of uh, wet, wet to cross on the road, unfortunately. Well, new things scare old folks, I tell you. When they come uh, used to the way things is, sometimes they get stuck in them ways. And they see a big metal <laughs> machine come towards them, they probably just get like deers in the headlights of a train. I've had many, many deputies hop on uh, to this evening as well as a uh, gang of Avalos that were very interested in, uh, in the train itself, or the trolley itself, I should say. In fact, I hope you, how often do you run this thing? Is there a schedule I can I read over there inside the train station? Uh, uh, there, there is no schedule at this moment for the trolley. It's my only second day as a conductor, and I've been running one uh, each day. Uh, well, hopefully, you folks get more there. of them, because I would love to, uh, you know, travel by trolley and then not have to worry about finding a place for my my briefcase inside the uh, carriage uh, I take sometimes. Fair enough. Uh, if you do carry your, I believe you can carry your suitcase aboard and move from place to place as well. That's good to hear. I prefer to travel by train these days, and I try to make sure I catch a train between towns. Last I get stuck in a town sometimes without a carriage driver, but Mr. Stone will uh, remedy that for me most times. Even if he's that out of town, right. I can send you a telegram to come and get me. I've been stuck in goddamn St. Danis, or not St. Danis, uh, Valentine for three days now. Two days I meant to be there, made some good money, making films, uh, showing films over in the tent. And the next thing I know, I was like, oh, here's the train. I'm ready to head out. And then, there the webs, as you've seen. There the wells ruined my trip. There is a lesser known service that the Transit Authority has now. I'm, I'm not certain if you've been apprised. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, we are fully capable of transporting uh, goods as well as uh, your, your luggage on the train. Is it storage uh, for. Uh, for is. That's is. good to hear, Dan. That's good. Uh, that makes things a lot easier for me. Is it storage on this thing as well? believe so, though we, uh, I'd have to check. Uh, we have not had many requests for luggage. So yeah, I, they need to come with some, some of the, the fancier coaches here. There's an issue they have. Uh, it seems like the, the fancier ones, they lack a, a, what's it called? A spot to carry luggage. They don't have any luggage racks. Yeah, no lock boxes. I mean, I, even they should be able to carry at least two, one or two uh, suitcases, I'd say, would be a good thing. It, it, it is very much unfortunate. Uh, we've had similar issues where the Trans Authority has been looking at different sorts of wagons as well. Oh, uh, if you were looking for something that can carry uh, uh, cargo, you're best to look at the stagecoaches or caravan wagons. Yeah. A, a nice, uh, I'll get a, usually a nice big wagon if uh, I'm going far or shooting films, but uh, it'd be nice if there was enough room in some of these carriages, I say, just to sit with the, uh, you know, the, the suitcase in my lap. You know, holding it in my lap, as I said, or something. Uh, yes, that, that would be very nice. Uh, at, at present, we have a, a number of trains that are being added to the fleet. And we have a, a very special train uh, coming when the snow starts to fall. Well, I believe I'm, I'm at liberty to, to give away but what it is, but it would be a, a great surprise for, for the customer. Well, I look forward to it. I know the weather's changing soon. Now. The rain's come back. The weather's getting colder. That's right. You know, winter is probably gonna be the best time for me to sell my moving picture tickets. Get folks out of the cold in a warm tent, a warm Ooh, theater. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying, I, I can talk about this. There is a new train that is going to be unveiled, and it will be advertised uh, shortly when the snow starts to fall, or before. It's a big move by the Transit Authority. Well, I should look forward to it. I'll say it's about time the Crofton has made some big moves in the locomotive industry. Because I tell you, I thought that was an underutilized uh, uh, industry. It was being utilized really well for a bit when they built all them tracks. And it seemed like they, uh, they stepped back and focused on other things for a bit or something. Wait, wait there was a, a big issue with the tracks themselves, uh, disrepair. 
a lot of outlaws have used the uh, explosives on the tracks and, uh, we uh, also are short-handed so it has been largely uh, a few individuals from what I understood you know it so always it comes on back to near the west doesn't it full circle there's an issue in the crossing bet your bottom dollar it's gonna be a near the west well now, now we are very clear uh, of what happens when folks start uh, robbing the trains and there are measures I believe looked into to uh, increase the safety of passengers on trains you got a, you got security uh, the transit authority uh, it does recruit security and, however uh, not many will come forward for the position many are um, stuck with the private sector and as a state organization we are required to hire through uh, through the state uh, oh, law are very happy to assist us However, there are other incentives too, such as uh, I'm now personally uh, going to be uh, letting airlines know that they're only hurting themselves when they do this sort of thing in an odd way. Uh, the more trains get robbed, the less they will be, unfortunately, because as part of our uh, protocol is, is that when a train is robbed or a vehicle is robbed, uh, we, we need to return to depot and uh, end the run immediately. So I'm fine. Quite a, a few issues of uh, people robbing uh, at, at the depot before we've gotten underway. Oh well, that's a shame. Shame. You know, outlaws are bad for business. They they hurt the economy. They hurt the everyday man. They hurt the people's banks. I hope that the military comes in one day and just deals with all the goddamn ne'er do wells and throws them all nooses or something. Make the world a better place. I, I hope he is uh, hoping as well, uh, frankly, because I, I, I underwent my first train robbery the other night, as you know, and after they had left you, they were uh, much more aggressive. That is a shame. There's no need to be aggressive to good people. What did they get out of this train, anyways? You know, they, they robbed them with the wrong means, they had nothing. And I'm surprised they had, like, ignored the money I had in my pockets. The, uh, I guess they were just looking for guns or something. I don't know. Maybe they're just looking for bigger fish to fry. I'm glad I travel light when I do, but I'm just happy my pocket watch wasn't stolen. I paid 75 good dollars for that thing. Yes, I had my own uh, bad one. My father used to keep time for, for the trains. However, they got very little from us, actually. I believe they got maybe... They didn't get any money from me because as a uh, trainee conductor, I don't keep much money in my pockets uh, back then. Uh, Miss Henrietta Trade Ray was glad. I believe they took our lunches and uh, yeah, they, they, they wasn't bad yet. Take your lunches, golly. Man, I'm, I'm so tired of seeing the law, outlaws rob good good folks here in the cross. I might have to make some films about legendary uh, deputies and things to inspire the young folks to want to become lawmen and women and to keep the good crossing here safe from near the wells and. and uh, Keep folks from becoming victim and prey to the to the scandalness. I tell you, they, they beat me senseless on that train, uh, just because my constitution wasn't up to grade after being poisoned. It was very very unfortunate. They seemed like like uh, sh not shady, but they seemed like rough folk, and it, they picked an odd time to begin their chaos. They were all waiting there at the station for us all lined up. I guess they'd be making use of our new scheduling system so they knew when we were coming. Well, I mean, one day they rob a train and uh, they see the schedule coming up and it happens to be a military, military personnel train transporting uh, government goods and then they're outgunned, outnumbered and find themselves in Cisco and forgotten for a real long time. There's, there's always that hope, uh, frankly. That, that new group, I, I don't know where how long they last. I've only been in the cross for a short while, but I've, I, I've noticed groups like that don't tend to last long. No, you've inspired me. Our conversation has inspired me. My next big film, my big film, my new Opnit Magnus will be about a heroic lawman, a deputy of sorts who goes about saving folks, doing the good thing to inspire youngsters and all of the folks to become lawmen here in the Crossing. To spread safety, awareness, and security in the good golden state of the crossing. 
I, I'm certain most of the uh, many deputies would be wi willing to star in the role if you are looking for uh, cast. I I might start auditioning. Now, if deputies are real busy, it'd be kind of hard to get them to be the main actor for a film since they might need them a lot. But then again, a deputy would be the best person to star because they know the ins and outs of things. Then again, if I find someone with a real good chin and a handsome face, they might do just right. There, there is, is a, a, a deputy that does come to mind. If it would assist you, I have met her several times, actually. Oh, She's, uh, what's her name? Uh, she is uh, Under Sheriff Chevalier. She, she is actually the Under Sheriff here in St. Denis. Oh, an Under Sheriff. That could be even better. Already more pristine to that rank and name right there. And, and uh, folks seeing her on the big screen might... No, that would wow and awe. I think that's a good idea. I think she might be the perfect leader to this film. The the, the main role. And then she will go on a journey. And uh, she'll have maybe have a mystery or something where she has to fo follow a train. Oh, no, a deal. Train robberies, right? Uh, train robberies keep happening. She's trying to figure out how to stop them. Where these near-to-wells hide out and where they are. And then she solely figures out the thing. And she rallies the rest of her deputies under her. And they, they, they go they over a big old uh, mounted gun on the back of a, of a wagon. And they take care of all the near-to-wells. Uh, uh, and one good foul swoop, but one of the near-to-wells survives to be the protagonist in the next film. And then he comes out to her family. In the second film, she has to uh, figure out uh, how to fight against guerrilla uh, warfare tactics or something like that. There's an, another deputy is with that I have met. His name is uh, ben, Benny Thatcher. Benny Thatcher. Well, I'll keep this in mind. I believe they are too uh, familiar with one another as well. And, uh, I'm not familiar in any promise sense. They, they know one another. That I met them when they were talking business here on the trolley. Well, you have they inspired me. Nice. Hey, sorry, what was your name one more time? Uh, Virgil. Virgil Clements. Virgil Clements. Thank you for inspiring this next film. I tell you, you know what? When the premiere happens, Virgil, you have a free seat to the premiere. Hey, it is most appreciated, sir. Sounds good. I appreciate this conversation I did. One, one more lap, and then I think we get back to the carriage, and uh, you take me back to my mansion, and uh, I will find myself a bit of rest. Ain't no problem, no. And I can uh, ponder upon planning some of these big events out. And fireworks, plenty of fireworks again, like the one I did in Blackwater. That that would be that be what we need. I know quite a few people be interested in seeing a film here in uh, Saint Denis. It's about, I've done I've done a film about a love story, a one about uh, a bandito who uh, drank a dead man's drink on Devil's Whiskey. I did a slapstick comedy about Ricky, and then I've done a, 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 a what's it called, a, a learning film about the mysteries of Sean Mountain, a historical uh, documentary. I think it's time I do a hero story. That's what I need in my roster, a good old hero story. I think they, they, they'll be very good, uh, very good. I, I have to make an endeavor to, to see some of your, your pictures. I haven't had a chance yet. Well, keep an eye out on the paper. I'm going to try to uh, start doing bigger events where I can get me every, every, every seat filled, all 30 seats, you know? And uh, I'll put it in the paper and things like that so people can show up to see my films back to back. I, but, I, heard, I heard that there was actually a projector at one of those uh, car carnival sites. Well, that's good to know. I've seen those up in the bio, and I wanted to investigate those more because I know uh, Sir Dickie White runs the arts, uh, helps runs the uh, the drama club, and uh, I know they've been doing uh, shows at some of the stages. But if there's a projector out there, I could use. That's good. That's good news. Be, be a, little, a lot less uh, busy as well. Yeah, that's good. That is good to know. I have to go find that location. There's one outside Blackwater, uh, one in the Heartland. On that side, uh, the tumble, uh, Armadillo. That sounds just fine. I think the Heartlands would probably be the one I want to go to, the closest one to uh, St. Dennis. How you doing, Kayla? Welcome back. Coming in on uh, Frank Breyer talking about being robbed and accosted by Nerdy Wells and wanted to see them all executed. <laughs> He's tired of being robbed. Well, good deal. This surely has been nice. It's been a pleasure having having you two aboard. It has been. We'll be getting all right up here and uh, get back to uh, the mansion and I can start putting notes down and figure out how I'm going to make my next big film. Uh, 
answers her. It is. I only wish the bell and the whistle would be in operation. But... Well, I look forward to uh, seeing that come come to fruition. You take care, sir. Have a lovely day and hope you get plenty of we customers. Take care, gentlemen. Well, Mr. Stone, wasn't that just a lovely ride to do down here? That's right. Good fella right there. Yes, he was. It's making St. Dennis feel more alive, I think. I think it's a good That's thing for the community right. here. I know what I don't know what I came into, but I just heard some things and went, well, all right. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my character. Uh, the outlaws in the area have become really brazen and very destructive lately, and my character is just, he's tired of it. Well, I, I he wants to see like electric chair, he wants to see br brutality. On the room in the mansion. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of uh, uh, rooms there in that mansion you can take up on. Well, careful now, careful now, Mr. Stone. It's all right now. Meet Jocelyn back here. He's gonna hire a lone gun to deal with them. Um, I have security. Mr. Stone is my new security I hired today because yesterday I got robbed by train, but <laughs> on the train. And uh, this is make sure he's uh, doing well. My character is a moving pictures man. He's uh, very community driven. He's a civilian. Well, he, he, wants see, uh, he wants to see. He to see people succeed sure and grow. Sure, it's nice to be uh, be back in business. It sure he is. He's uh, he's for the most part a fairly good man. He likes to entertain. But he's got some. He's got some uh, vices. He's uh, he's addicted to opium. When he gets a chance to smoke a lot of it uh, in tobacco, he uh, gambles a lot, and uh, the gambling gets him in trouble. <laughs> so he's got some vices there. He's a fun character. He's a very, very uh, you know, film tycoon kind of guy. I'll be around up and about some point, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you a note on your desk and I'll let you know where I'll be up and about, but probably around here in town trying to get investments together for my next big film. I think I want to get started right away by uh, talking to the law around, uh, figuring out who I can get as my main actor for uh, this hero story I want to write. And then we're going to have three films. I already have an idea for the first two, which means the third one will come a long way. The second film will be perfect of her uh, trying to... Uh, you know, the, the outlaw gets vengeance on her, kills her pa or something, or, or, or a son or daughter, something, something tragic that gets the, the audience feeling something. And then she goes on a vengeance story. Well, here you go, sir. Very good. I appreciate the uh, the due diligence, and I'm, I'm happy to have you aboard uh, Frank Industries. You're going to do real good you. here. And uh, you, you ri I rise, you rise with me. That's how it works here. That's right. I'll take care now. Have a good All one. Right. Yeah, you just let me know when you need me, huh? Will do. Would you man or a little he gets a little shady sometimes when it comes to hiring some actors. If they're very if they're very dim witted, because he lives in a time where uh, you know, morals aren't always the best. So uh, and business practices aren't always the most cleanest you know so him uh, undercutting a, an actor because they're dim-witted is just business to him right but he wouldn't like he wouldn't try to murder somebody he's not very violent but uh he's greedy he certainly is greedy that's one of his vices but he does often on the other side of things give free tickets to people and who are who've helped him uh sometimes if they can't pay he offers them to you know he was you can sweep the theater for a ticket you know stuff like that but in the end, he'll still he will tell, still try to wiggle and scam uh, for a better position in a in a uh, in a loan or uh, depends. Um, if they're the most known murderers in town and the most heinous reputation, he would not do business with them. But if they're slightly shady and their and their inner workings are not well known and they and they. Uh, you know, paid him big money to help make a film or something, you know, he might do that still. It's, there's still, like, a certain level of, like, you know, insaneness he, he, he won't be able to abide by. But he can definitely be corrupted in some ways because um, he does love money a lot. But just like any any anybody, they might live long enough to become a villain or 
do some shady things because that just kind of fits the time period. But um, it makes it fun because not everyone's purely pure and not everyone is evil, evil. So it's kind of nice to, uh, you know, go one way or another. And it's always nice to have a redemption story too later or make up for misdeeds or something like that because it is fun to get into trouble with my character and then having the role play my way out of it, you know? So he's so he's a mob man. As long as they stay in the shadows, he'll consider it. Yeah, like the Moretti's in town. They used to they used to work closely with the Dicenzos, and they've got up to some really, you know, scrupulous things that most people probably don't even know about. Oh, Seely, I know about that. But he would do business with the Moretti's in town here in the Dicenzos. They're a big, well-known family. They're to be respected and be feared a little bit. But like, they're not like a highwayman gang that's you know pillaging and murdering and torturing people all the time and that's what they're really well known for he wouldn't do business with those people because well bad business is bad business for him because he could get hurt in the process where the Dicenzos and the Moretti's here in town are city folk and that's another thing he considers too it's like oh uh, people on St. Dennis look after each other he may not know all their inner dealings but if but if, say for example if the, if the Dicenzos became a pariahs and really really known for really nasty things by the public he probably wouldn't work with them because uh, so basically, exactly what he said. As long as they're in the shadows and they're not known for the most heinous things, um, he'd probably work with them, you know? Because he cares about his reputation above everything else. He's, he's mostly legit, but can get crooked. And he's the most easiest to corrupt after uh, his addictions get bad. Because uh, he has an addiction to opium, uh, tobacco in the past. Uh, he enjoys morphine, um, gambling. So I'd say he became, he becomes a worse person the more desperate he gets, or if he's on a bender for too long. And then he, it's kind of, it's kind of a story part for Skinner. He gets into big trouble and then he has to find a way to resolve it. And that's kind of, it's kind of my story circle for this character is that he finds himself in situations that are not the best and that leads him into trouble. And then he has to find a way out of it, you know? He's really good to his friends. He's really good to the common person on the ground. Uh, you know, he does charity and stuff like that. So he's a, he's, a, he's definitely not, you know, he's it makes him more complex. So it's fun. And it gets him into trouble sometimes. It makes it fun for the storytelling. It makes it fun for the audience. It makes it fun for role play. It makes it fun for other role players too. And it's going to see you in here again, by the way. I, I just got settled in my place with my partner and the kids and everything. And we got my office set up and... Uh, it's good time to get back into role play. I just ordered, I started dog walking for a job and doing this. Uh, so I made some good money dog walking this last month and I helped pay some bills with the 300 I'm gonna get tomorrow. And then I spent 200 yesterday to get uh, a new SSD uh, external hard drive for my computer so I can record at a higher quality and uh, store all that stuff for two terabytes. And then I bought a new shock mount for my mic. So I'm improving my stream with the money I'm making. Guys, it's been a good stream. I'm going to get some rest, I'm going to get some food, I am hungry, and I'm going to edit tonight. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Good night everyone, bye bye, thank you for watching. <laughs>